Hi everybody and welcome to our flying sidekick tutorial. In this class we're going to be showing you guys how to do the flying jump sidekick as well as how to take that kick and turn it into an awesome picture or an awesome video. Let's get started. Let's talk about how to do that jump flying sidekick. The best way to start is by doing a back leg sidekick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do mine in this direction so you guys can see what I'm up to. I'm going to start with my left foot forward because my right leg is going to be the one kicking. So my right leg, I'm going to swing this leg up and I'm going to fire out my sidekick. Okay? So try it at home. Get that left foot forward, bring your right leg up, sidekick, and put it back down. It's all about swinging that leg up to give you a little bit of a forward motion into your back leg sidekick. Okay? Now once you get, you feel pretty good about that, back leg side kick, then what you can do is you can bring that leg up and bring it up so quickly that it actually kind of launches you in the air. So don't worry about the kick, just do this. Bring the leg up and land on the ground. Almost like I'm doing a little skip hop, okay? So I start with my left foot forward, I'm gonna swing my right leg up, land on the ground. Okay, let's do it again. Left foot forward, Right leg swings up and put it back down. Okay? Now, we're going to add the kick. I'm going to swing my leg up, and while I'm in the air, boop, I'm going to do the kick. Now, for a flying side kick, I don't have to lock it out like I do when I'm uh, doing my white belt basics or my combinations or anything like that. All I have to do is just boop, pop that kick out. So I'm going to swing my leg up, in the air, boop, shoot my kick out. Here we go. Ready? Swing my leg up and kick out. That's all it is, real simple. Again, left foot's forward, swing your right leg up and kick out, just like that. Now, a flying side kick, you wanna be able to get up in the air, get some real hang time to make a good side kick. So, instead of just doing the back leg, we're gonna do a little step. I'm gonna start like this, I'm gonna step with my left foot, then my right leg's gonna swing up and I'm gonna fire off the kick. So I'm gonna do Step, and then kick, okay? Let's do it again. Standing here, stepping with my left foot, kicking with my right foot. Ready? Go ahead, step, kick. All right, now, once you start getting pretty comfortable with that, your next focus is gonna be the tuck. So notice that if I do my kick, uh, if I do my kick and I let my other foot, my left foot, my non-kicking foot, if I leave that foot dangling below me, it's not that very, it's not that exciting. It's kind of boring. When I do a good jump side kick, that bottom foot is gonna tuck up like I'm kicking myself in the butt. So it's gonna end up looking like this. See the difference? It looks a lot better. So let's put those things together. We're gonna step, jump, tuck, and kick. It's a lot, but I think you guys can do it. So start here, left foot, and then right foot It does the kick while I tuck. Left, tuck, just like that. And of course, if you wanna make it look uh, the right way, gotta have your hands in position. They don't have to be in close, like we do when we do our combinations or our basics. As long as our hands are in close, or our one hand is in close, the other hand can be just kind of floating here in front of you, boom to get that nice, perfect jump side kick position. So let's try adding that. Left foot's gonna step, right leg kicking, tuck, hand position. You can even get your face in there. Make it look really intense. Ready, step, tuck, yeah! Just like that. Now, I think that you guys are getting pretty good with that jump flying side kick. You can add a few extra steps to give you more momentum to help get your kick even higher. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna start back here, and I'm gonna go step, step, step. And remember, it's my left foot being on the ground that's gonna push me into the air while my right leg kicks. So let me give myself a little room here, and I'm gonna start. There's your jump flying side kick. All right, that jump flying side kick is looking pretty good. Now it's time for us to show you guys how to turn that jump flying side kick into the perfect picture or video. The key to a good flying side kick photo is a fast shutter speed.
Some cameras allow you to adjust this by switching to sport mode or by switching to shutter priority. If you are planning to take the picture on your phone, you can force the camera to use a fast shutter speed by taking the picture outdoors with lots of bright sunlight. Get down low to the ground and angle your camera upward towards the kick. Timing is very important. You want to try to release the shutter right as the kick is going out. It might take a few tries, but if you get it just right, you'll end up with the perfect shot. All right, take these tips and try to make your very own flying sidekick photo.